Okay, let's start. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this afternoon, let us begin with a prayer. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. Nomine Patris et Fili et Spiriti Sancti. Amen. To our fellow HNI members and everyone, here now is the prayer for the protection for Hans Inclusion PH. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue, the repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Filipinas. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members, Rescue us from all sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and he may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by Hans Inclusion Filipinas to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false in accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong timings. In your eyes, the organization. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Alonso, pray for us. Saint Claire of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica. Pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and our friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Pope Saint Pius X and Pope Saint John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizations and all the people who finally work with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in a conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in inclusion. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, they will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever, shall be, world without end. Amen. In nome of Patris, et Fili, et Spiriti, Santi. Amen. The 
the wounds inflicted upon him due to COVID-19. This is... Ang mga pananaw at opinyon ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pagunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Editorial. Today is Wednesday, August 25, 2021. I am your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and we are broadcasting simultaneously on Inclu Radio and on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. To start off our show this afternoon, here now is our daily verse for today. From Proverbs chapter 18, verse 12. Before a downfall, the heart is healthy, but humility comes before honor. We shall commence our topic proper in just a moment, and we will be back after these commercials. Now this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Welcome back to editorial. Let us now speak proper this afternoon. Hi everyone, good day to all of you. This is my pre-recorded presentation proper for editorial for Wednesday, August 25, 2021. I am Carlos Miguel Kanahashi from Hansen Inclusion, Philippines. In this pre recorded presentation proper, we will discuss to you about Filipino films. The Filipino film industry was one of the busiest and bustling film communities in Asia, releasing an average of 350 films a year, making Philippines second to Japan in terms of film productions a year. So what is the S? The built-in theater is important and, and plays an important role on promoting Filipino culture and heritage. It showcases the and how. Furthermore, it's to entertain people and as well as imparts knowledge in telling a story in a creative way. Let us find out the history and the important milestones in our film industry in the Philippines. It was all started on January 1st, 1897. The first film screenings in the Philippines took place on this day. The title of the films shown were Man with a Hat, Seen from a Japanese Dance, The Boxers, and The Place the Opera. The films were projected using the 16mm Gaumont Chrono Photograph Projector, at the Salon de Portiera at number 12, Escolta, Manila. On the same year, in 1897, the Numeres Cinematograph was first introduced in the Philippines by a Spanish soldier named Antonio Ramos. In the 1900s, a resurgence of movie houses begins in the early 1900s, not only in Manila, but in provinces that already In countries, the Philippines retains several of its old movie houses in the urban and even in the secluded rural areas of the country. In 1919, Jose Nepomuceno's The Lagang Bukid was released. It was the first Filipino Philippines. Jose Nepomuceno became known as the father of Philippine cinema. Film began is another region of art in the 1930s. Stories from Philippine literature and popular theater were the main source of storyline and characterization. In 1933, Jose Nepomuceno's Golden Dagger or Punya Naginto was premiered at the Lyric Theater. Punya Naginto was credited as the very first locally made talkie. In the 1950s, regarded as the first golden Cinema, major Philippine production studios produced a slew of art. Notable of this was Genghis Star, the first Asian film to be screened at the Venice and Cannes Film Festivals. At this point, 
the Philippine film industry averaged about 350 films per year, making the Philippines second to Japan in terms of number of film productions per year in Asia. 1960s. Filmmaking through monopolized studio systems saw its end during the 1960s as the era gave way to new and independent film production outfits. Along this promising change came the introduction of new and different film genres for the local audience to explore. Examples include Western musical and musical sport. In the 90s, in spite of the promising new wave of independent movies and filmmakers, local production companies resorted to producing hastily made low quality and formulaic films due to increasing production costs, high taxes, censorship, and piracy. Despite this predicament, the film industry flourished and churned about 200 films per year. In the 2000s, local film release dwindled down to 50 per year as Hollywood films took over a big chunk of the Filipino film market at the beginning of the decade. Fortunately, the rise of the digital age in filmmaking swiftly made its way in the local industry, making it easier for independent filmmakers to produce films. Slowly but steadily, the local film industry its new footing in the digital age of filmmaking, which paved the way the political of critically acclaimed films that caught the eyes of prestigious film festivals locally and internationally. Let's now move on to the 2010s era. The last 10 years saw Philippine cinema meet historical milestones in film. It was the decade that broke the 800 million peso box office mark the House of Arts and proved that the historical epic would also be a blockbuster hit like General Luna. In the 2010s, we also witnessed the 100-year anniversary of Philippine cinema in 2019, which was incidentally the same year a small film called Hello, Love, Goodbye ended the decade on a high note with a record-breaking box office of almost 900 million pesos. In 2010, we have a law to protect the film industry in our country. It is Republic Act 10088. Also known as the anti camcording Act of 2010, prohibits and penalizes the unauthorized use, possession, and or control of audiovisual recording devices for the unauthorized recording of cinematographic films and other audiovisual works and other soundtracks in the exhibition facility, proving penalties therefore for other purposes. Any person who would be found guilty of violating the provisions of that law shall be subject to a fine of 50,000 pesos to 750,000 pesos and an imprisonment of six months to six years. Why is the anti camcording law very important? Well, first of all, this law has helped to revive the film industry and to improve the confidence of local and international filmmakers and studios alike. The illegal replication and distribution of audiovisual materials by illegal camcording in our cinemas had almost killed the film industry. Because of this important piece of legislation, we are very close to eradicating film piracy in the Philippines, but more still needs to be done to protect locally produced movie titles as most of these are camcorded. So remember, piracy is stealing, stealing is against the law, piracy is a crime. Let's now move on to the 2020s. Philippine cinema is now at a standstill because of this trying time. When 2020 began, the entertainment industry was screaming with enthusiasm. Movie companies were preparing their lineup for, for the year. A summer film festival was planned and the productions were on its way. But changed in March when this trying time happened. Productions for movie stopped almost immediately. Cinemas were closed. More than harder for things to go back to normal. Only this time, normal mean new rules, protocols, protocols, and lock-in shoots. This is In 2020, Philippine movies began streaming almost exclusively online. The events in are the Metro Manila Film Festival and the Pista ng Pelikulang Filipino. 
The Metro Manila Film Festival, Tano Film Festival held in Metro Manila, and it takes place from December 25, Christmas Day, to the first weekend of January of the following year during the Metro Manila Film Festival. Pista ng Pinikulang Pilipino. This is a festival held in theaters nationwide. Its inaugural season was held last August 16 to 22, 2017, coinciding with the Buonang Wika. No foreign films allowed in theaters, except in IMAX, 4DX, VIT, starting from second edition in the large format leading theaters. Films approved by the jury will be shown and it's organized by the Film Development Council of the Philippines in association with theaters nationwide. What are agencies for our film industry? The Film Academy of the Philippines. It was established in 1981 and is considered the Philippine counterpart of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences in the U.S. It serves as the general organization of the various film-related guilds in the country that help in organizing and supervising film activities. The Philippine Society of Cinematographers serves as an educational, cultural, and professional organization of cinematographers that was established on February 7, 1970. We also have the Film Development Council of the Philippines. And the purpose of this agency is to show films that affects our economic, cultural, and educational aspects that represents locally and internationally. We also have the National Archives of the Philippines. It protects the country's cultural legacy in film through the preservation, retrieval, and restoration of film negatives, prints, and other film-related material, and promotes these to provide a wider appreciation of the cinema industry. We also have the MTRCB, or the Movie and Television Review and Classification Board. It is responsible for the and review of motion pictures, as well as television programs and home movies. And we also have internationally the Motion Picture Association of America. And this is the purpose of this is this agency helps us to combat piracy in the industry and other motion picture associations throughout the world as well. To wrap this up, the Philippines. remains undisputed in terms of the highest level of theater admission in Southeast Asia. With film, it's important to remember that it's as much as your fight as it is ours, and with the world consequences to our filmmakers and workers. We have to collaborate and work together to come back everyone's consideration and cooperation and let us continue the fight against film piracy as well and that's the end of our pre-recorded presentation proper thank you very much okay so guys Ang buhay natin parang sine. What does this mean? Our life looks like a movie. Movies that show show stories of lives, aspirations, and hope. And also, life is truly wonderful. Why? Because our life looks like a movie. Ang buhay natin ay parang sine. That's why movies are very important because it showcases our lives and also to show aspirations and hope as well. 
And also, as mentioned earlier, we must continue the fight against movie piracy. Because movie production in our country has been radically with pirate was that was um, again rather movie piracy in the Philippines or movie production in this country. Okay, again, movie production in our country is also a big has a big impact on piracy. If piracy continues, this will ultimately lead to the death of the local film industry. That's why we must continue the fight against movie piracy. Be original, buy, buy original and make sure it's original. Let us continue to say stop piracy ngayon na, now na. And if piracy will continue, thousands of jobs will be lost, studios will be closed, no new films will be made, and cinemas might be disappeared for good. That's why we need to patronize our Filipino and locally made films. Let us watch it in cinemas and other recognized digital platforms as well. And let us avoid camcording as well. And to patronize pirated or illegal copies of CDs and DVDs as well. Because this will have a great impact on the film industry in our country. And also it will affect the development of film industry in our country as well. That's why be original and do things in an original manner. Ang buhay natin ay parang sine as well. Okay, that wraps up our topic proper this afternoon. Let us now move on to our announcements. For our announcements, well, first of all, we have some products for sale at the Hanson Inclusion Philippines online shop. We are selling the following products. Tote bags. If you want to buy our tote bags, here are the following sizes and prices. If you want the picture without text, sizes range from small to large and prices range from 220 pesos to 260 pesos. If you want a picture in the front with text at the back, Sizes range from small to large and prices range from 270 pesos to 310 pesos. It's also available on Shopee with a price of 150 pesos. We also have our One Inclusion Nation t-shirts. Sizes range from small to quad XL and prices range from 325 pesos to 400 pesos. The available colors are white, black, blue, yellow, and red. It's also available on Shopee with the price of 275 pesos. For the first time, guys, Hans Inclusion Philippines will sell digital artworks made by its own artists. Sizes range from 8 by 10 inches to 16 by 20 inches. Prices range from 600 pesos to 1,750 pesos. If you want to have an acrylic glass, but it's optional, the charge would be 175 pesos to 500 pesos. Also, for our stickers, we include RES, 250 pesos, and the Inibi Ko Amang WDs, which is 150 pesos. So, how can we pay? Well, first of all, we will be very strict on payments. Payment first before purchase. We're accepting payments from GCash, PayMaya, Palawan Pawn Shop, and Sabuana Luilier as well. We will deliver your ordered products via the following courier providers. If you're living in areas in Metro Manila and its surrounding areas, it will deliver to you via GoGo Express, Tok Tok, Grab, Lala Move, and Mr. Speedy Philippines. And the rest of the country, it will deliver to you nationwide via LDC. 
The Hansen Inclusion Philippines online shop is temporarily closed for areas under ECQ and MECQ, but it will continue to serve in GCQ and MGCQ areas only. Also, if you buy our tote bags and in the and the t-shirt in our Shopee store, it will not be affected. Its operating hours are 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Also, we have Barya para sa inclusion. So, what is Barya para sa inclusion? Well, first of all, Barya para sa inclusion is a fundraising project of Hanson Inclusion Philippines. The purpose of this are the following to help persons with disabilities who are less fortunate and unemployed due to this trying time and also for the formality of hands in inclusion philippines and its expenses as well regardless no matter what it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger you can help persons with disabilities and hands in inclusion philippines for its projects and expenses in the future so my question is, how can we do this? We have two ways for you guys to do this. If you want to do this via coin bank, put some any amount of coins in either a recycled container or in a coin bank. If it's full and heavy, message us at the Hansen Inclusion Philippines Facebook page for the deposit. Also, if you want to do this via Gcash, send any amount via Gcash and scan the QR code below that is flashing your screen. Send your proof of donation via hansen.inclusion at gmail.com with the subject of piece of ours inclusion dash gcash dash your name. And here is our QR code that is flash on your screen. Magtulungan tayo hanggang dulo. So guys, what are you waiting for? Please, please, and please, please purchase our products from the Hansen Inclusion Philippines online shop and also to donate to Hands in Inclusion Philippines as well. And also, please help Hands in Inclusion Philippines for its fundraising project. And also, we are aiming to raise funds in our organization. And let us have the time to rebuild in order for us to have a bigger, better, and a bolder Hands in Inclusion Philippines. So guys, for those who did this, you'll be glad you did. And for those who did this, thank you for your continuous generosity and for your support to Hands in Inclusion Philippines. On Saturday, August 28, 2021, at 7 o'clock in the evening, Hands in Inclusion Philippines will have our online concert entitled Include Filipinas Inclusion 2021. This is our online concert for a cause. So the event will be done online on August 28, 2021 at 7 p.m. on the Hanson Inclusion Philippines Facebook page. So let us watch this video teaser about this concert. Okay, this online concert is also for the benefit of Hanson Inclusion Philippines in preparation for its formality as well and its expenses as well. So guys, you only have three days to go before this event. So invite your family and friends to watch our online concert for a cause as well. Hansen Inclusion Philippines is looking for volunteer researchers, captioners, and YouTube uploaders. If you're willing to work as a volunteer, 
If you have a laptop in your desktop and a strong and reliable internet connection, committed to work, good attitude and character, and if you're a college graduate, send your resume at hansin.inclusion at gmail.com. This Saturday, August 28, 2021, we are culminating our Buwanang Wika celebrations and the Filipino Heritage Month in Best Buddies, Philippines. This is in collaboration with Archers for UNICEF and we're presenting to you Magsayat Umawit on Saturday, August 28, 2021 at 4 p.m. And this is part of our Best Buddies, Best Buddies Philippines Saturday series of learning. So guys, if you want to read, to join this event for August 28th, uh, follow Best Buddies Philippines on Facebook and Instagram. Send them a message and they will send you the registration form and link as well. Also, follow Hanson Inclusion Philippines on its social media pages and its digital platforms as well. It, is, it will be appreciated for you guys to do this as early as now. Follow us on Facebook, Hanson Inclusion PH, Inkoraja, in the Sports Inclusion in the online shop. Instagram, Hanson Inclusion PH, Kumu, HNI Philippines, and subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Hanson Inclusion Philippines. So guys, for those who did this, thank you. Okay, let's have the time for our shout outs and greetings as well also for our birthday celebrants i would like to greet happy birthday to brian pabustan and um, david mitchell happy birthday and expect the more birthdays to come also i would like to welcome Uh, France Merida to Hansen Inclusion Philippines. So welcome to HNI or Hansen Inclusion Philippines, Sir Franz. Also, I would like to say good afternoon and thank you to the following. To my family, good afternoon and good evening pala. Hi! To Hanson Inclusion Philippines, especially to Roiland Marlang and the team. Good, good afternoon and good evening po. Thank you. Uh, and thank you. Also to Best Buddies Philippines and Best Buddies Benil, thank you po and good evening and good afternoon, rather. And also to, do, to other PWD organizations, organizations, thank you po. Also to my high school and college friends, good afternoon and good evening po and thank you to those who, who are celebrating their anniversaries, happy anniversary as well. And also to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Sana nasa mabuting kalagayan ninyo kung hindi meron kayo sapat na panahon para masiayos ang inyong kalagayan at kagalingan ninyo. In, in layman's term, you have the time to improve your mental health and your well-being as well. To those who are watching us on Inturajo, thank you. And if you miss this episode, it will be uploaded on the Hanson Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel as well. Okay, that wraps up our episode for editorial for Wednesday, August 25, 2021. I will be back again tomorrow for the inclusive report. On behalf of Inclurajo and Hanson Inclusion Philippines, I am Carlos Miguel Kanahashi saying, May the Almighty God bless us all. Pagpalain nawa tayo ng Diyos ng poong ni Kapal, ngayong ikaapat na anibersaryo, may bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. H&I, God first! Thank you, good evening, good night, thank you for watching, and bye for now. Bye-bye!